let's talk for a minute about the global navigation. As you see, this is going to be at the top of every page. The Courses button has a drop-down that contains all of the programs that you're in as an instructor or as a student or a designer or an administrator. You can customize this. You can have a maximum of 12 courses in the drop-down list. However, you can click on View All Contents and it will show you everything that you are taking. If you've got 30 courses, it will show all 30 courses and you can access it from there. You can customize which courses appear by simply going in and clicking on the list. So if I wanted to do these three, these will be the only three that show up now. Although I can click on View All Courses and it will show me what all courses I have. The next global navigation button is Assignments. Assignments, if you click on this, will show you all of your assignments that are due either as an instructor or as a student. So here are all the assignments you can do and you can click on the assignment and it will take you to that particular assignment. As you can see it is color coded so the assignments are from the different things. If I just want to see the stuff from migrating to Canvas I can click on this and it will just show me the assignments in that course. Let's go back to the best practices. The next global button that we're going to talk about is going to be the grades button. The grades button is very simple. It will, When you click on this, this will show you courses that you are teaching and if you have any grades that you've got to do or that you need to grade, some content you need to grade, it will be right here. If you're a student, it will show you your grades right here as well. The calendar feature in the global navigation is also going to be located in some other features as well. The calendar will allow you to do several things from one location. Number one, if you've got a Google Calendar, if you've got a Google account, you can set your calendar here so you can have one calendar to look at, look at your personal information as well as look at any content that you've got on different courses. What you can also do here is you can click on a date and if I want to add an event, an event is just uh, maybe you're going to have a webinar on a particular day or they need to have a form turned in on a particular day, you can select the event, put the title, when it's due, and you can choose which calendar that it needs to be assigned to. Only the accounts, the, the, the programs, the, the courses that are active and have been published will appear here that you can link into. You can also create a blank assignment shell. If you say, okay, hmm, while I'm thinking about this today, I need to go ahead and put a, a quiz for a sp specific date at a specific time. I can do that right here. Choose the date. Again, choose the calendar that it's going to go in, which course it's going to go in, and then which group of assignments I want it to go in. When I do that, it will show up in the calendar but it will also show up in the uh, assignments for that particular course and I can just go back and complete that shell. Breadcrumbs, the breadcrumb navigation system is just a way to easily backtrack and get where you are. As you can see right now, the page we're on is the syllabus, so it says best practices syllabus. As I click a link, now it's going to come up and show me where I am now. I'm on the front page in pages in best practices. So at any point I can go in and look at something and it will show me where I am. If I want to go back to the previous page I can do that. If I want to go back to the home page I can click it that way. This way you're never really lost. It's very simple to go back and find where you are. The next area we want to talk about is the sidebar here on the right hand side. In the sidebar there are dynamically changed, the, the content is dynamically changed to show you where you are depending on which feature you have chosen on the left hand side. In the home page you will see the course setup checklist. 
this is if you're trying to import content you can do that if you need to add course assignments you can do that it just takes you through all the process of what you need to do to get your canvas course ready to go the edit syllabus description allows you to come in and change this content if you are using the syllabus and assignments homepage feature which we'll talk about a little bit later the calendar again this is going to bring us back to whatever calendar we need to do we can simply click on that if there's any assignments due we can see what's due also have a to-do list down here that will be visible as we continue on the content area is right here the content area is basically where you're going to see any information that you have created for your course on the front page you do have the option of changing your home page layout and determining what's going to be the first thing your people see there's a drop down where you can use the recent activity dashboard you've seen that when you initially log into canvas you can have a blank page that you can create content on yourself you can use the course module sections which I would advise not using simply because that would give all of your information away and your students can see what's coming up in the year ahead and you may not want that the assignment list this is anytime you create an assignment it will automatically be added to the list then they can link on anything and again I wouldn't just do the assignment list because then they don't have any way to navigate the course or the assessment of the assignment with syllabus which is the one I use you don't have to use a syllabus I use it as a combination between a page I designed myself which has an entry page into every module and also links the assignments at the bottom all you have to do is click update layout the rest of its pretty self-explanatory